Milkfish fry, together with fry of other fish and crustacean species, are brought to the shore shortly after capture. The whole catch is then transferred to a white plastic basin to facilitate counting, sorting, and removal of debris. Counting and sorting are done with the use of white cap or small bowl. The counted fry are placed in another basin while the dead and unwanted species are discarded. Milkfish fry are counted each time the fish are transferred from one container to another and before and after being sold. Head count to fry is done if catch is few, but when catch runs into several thousands, counting is done with the aid of small pebbles. An extra 200 to 500 fry are added to every thousand as allowance for mortalities. Another method of counting is by estimation. The density of fry in one container is compared with the density of fry in another container in which the exact number of fry has been previously determined. The day's catch are stored in the fisherman's house or storage facility provided by the fry concessionaire of the area. The water in the basin before storage is generally diluted with fresh water. The fry are not fed at this stage. The fry are again counted and sorted the following morning before acceptance by the concessionaire or dealer. These are then brought to the main warehouse in oxygenated plastic bags which are placed inside pandan bags. The fry are transferred to plastic basins and again the storage water is diluted with fresh water. Stocking rate is from 3,000 to 8,000 fry per basin. Yolk of hard-boiled egg or cooked flour is fed daily or every other day. Very small quantities of food is given to minimize fouling of water. The storage containers are inspected and cleaned of excess food, dead fry, and debris every morning and afternoon. Usually, the warehouse has a stock of clean water already mixed at the desired salinity level to replace water in the fry container. Again, water is changed either partly or totally every day or every other day to maintain good water quality for the fry. Before cleaning, the water in the plastic basin is rotated by hand to concentrate excess food, debris, dead fry, and feces at the center. A small plastic bowl is then used to scoop out the concentrated unwanted materials. The fry are not fed before transport. Fresh water is sometimes added to further reduce the salinity. Excess water in the basin is removed by using a small bowl over a scoop net to exclude the fry and minimize injury. The fry are then introduced into double plastic bags. The stocking rate depends on the length of time and mode of transport. After transferring the fry into the plastic bags, the air in the bag is replaced with oxygen. As soon as the desired volume of oxygen is reached, which is usually of equal volume with water, the open end is twisted, bent, and tied with rubber bands. The plastic bags are placed inside pandan bags if transport is by land.